feed-only campaigns are one of the easiest things to set up in Google Ads, and I'm going to show you how. But basically, if you've got an e-commerce store, sometimes you want to test different campaigns, such as this one, to see which one's going to work and which one isn't. And so feed-only campaigns, for me, work about 50% of the time. Might as well worth try it, right? All you need to do is duplicate one of your Performance Max campaigns, and then rename it to feed-only. And we're not going to use anything in there. The whole purpose of duplicating this is to copy the settings over because you want to target the same like ROAS goals maybe or the same goals in general, etc. Okay, so from here, what you do is click in there and then we click the plus icon and then click new asset group. And then from here, you can delete everything. So we'll skip the search themes for now because I'm just going to show you how to use one for all of your products. So we'll just collapse that, rename it to all products. And then in here, we'll click this one and expand that, get rid of the URL. And so if you try to edit your existing asset group, this will fail. And it'll basically say you've got to add headline, add headline and add URL. And so it won't work if you do that. So you need to create a new asset group for this to work. Now from here, you scroll down, don't add anything. Don't add images, leave the logo there, that's fine. Leave the business name, that's fine. Leave the site links and then leave the automated call to action. So what you're gonna do is click save. And this won't actually save again if you try to edit this one, but it worked, see? And so we're gonna remove the other one. Whoops, let me get out of that and let's go to the pause, remove, confirm. And then we've got one for all products. And so I haven't given it any signals. I can do that. Like I can add a signal for dog lover and all this kind of stuff to point Google in the right direction. Now, since I have a lot of different products, I won't feed it any search themes, but I will feed it some different affinities. So if we go into there and click interests and demographics, and then we're just gonna type that one and maybe pet supplies, that's okay. And then click save. And they're the only signals that I'm going to feed it. In the listing group area, just confirm, it will, but just confirm that it says all products. Great, cool. So now what we wanna do is we'll go back over to the asset groups themselves, and you might wanna add some for different kind of categories. So let's click the plus button, go add, add new asset group. And then from here, you might do one for dog collars, like buy dog collar, dog collars online. Let's assume that I've done my keyword research and I've like verified these keywords. And you just put in whatever you did research on that has high buying intent. And then from here, again, you add different audience signals. So you do these two, dog leashes and collars is probably better and just keep it on there, okay? So in market, make sure that that's the case. From here, let's collapse that. Let's go dog collars. And then from here, make sure that this is removed. Keep scrolling down, everything's good, click save. Good to go, that's dog collars done. So what happens from here? You're not done. All you have to do is click on listing groups and then inside click the plus button for subdivision. We're gonna find a dog collar. So it's 121 listings or products, click save. And then it's gonna exclude everything else, but it's gonna include all products that are dog collars. Great. Now we might wanna do and continue doing this for the rest of them, right? So I highly encourage you to do that. And then once you're done doing all of that, what I want you to do is go back into the campaign level Find this little cog button, or maybe you'll see campaign settings. I'm gonna click on the cog. And then from here, you want to then scroll down to the bottom. You want to click, where is it actually? They move it, asset optimization. So you want to turn all of these off, okay? So I wanna turn these off and turn this off and then save, right? So I've just set up a feed only campaign in a few minutes while talking to you. That's how easy this thing is. That will dynamically take your shopping feed from your data feed, and it will try to match whatever someone's typing into Google and serve it as shopping ads. Now, Google is trying to, you know, block people from doing these kind of ads in the first place, but it still works even now as a time of recording. And so I definitely recommend trying because it's, if there's it a 50-50 chance of this thing working, try it. So that's everything. If you've got any questions, leave them below. More than happy to answer them in the comments below, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.